Hey guys, how's it going? It's Calvin Rabb. So in this video, I'm gonna go over 10 different jobs that will allow you to work from home, that will allow you to start a business and have a pretty scalable business model. And you can start all these businesses in your house, use your house as the headquarters, and you know you don't need a whole lot of capital to begin with because you don't have to go buy some big office building or something like that. So these can start right where you are. These are 10 pretty high paying, you can make quite a bit of money from this, home-based businesses that you can start today. So let's get into it. And if you're new here, my name is Calvin Rabb. I make videos all about personal finance. So if you're interested in anything like that, I would love it if you would subscribe. Number one is start a clothing company. You know, this can start with just t-shirts. You know, you can print different t-shirts. Maybe you want to even get a t-shirt printer. I'm not too sure exactly what you uh, call them, but you can look on Amazon for those. Or if you want to get a little more into it, you can still have an entire little mini factory at your place of residence and you can have clothing being made. You know, I've seen this a lot of times, even at high school, I knew there was one girl who started a clothing company revolving bikinis and different things like that. And there was another group who just started a clothing company. So this is great for even younger people, older people, all it takes a creative and kind of imaginative mind someone that has an eye for clothing and just knows what people like and it starts with just advertising to your friends and you can create a website and grow from there so there's plenty of information online about how to start a clothing company but this may be for you this may be a way to make money you can use some room in your house as a storage facility and packaging facility and you can kind of run the whole show and ship it from there so this may be something you're interested in it's a fascinating field and you can make pretty good money doing it Number two is Airbnb. Now, this is a little more unorthodox in that you're not starting like your own company, but you are kind of turning your place of residence into a little mini hotel and you can make money from it. And the cool thing is the infrastructure is already built for you. You know, you just have to sign up there, get your house on it and start getting some Airbnb customers coming in. So this is a pretty easy thing that you can do. I know a lot of people do that here in San Diego. They have their houses on Airbnb and you can certainly do that. So maybe look into doing this, get some extra money coming in through Airbnb. Number three is dog care. And I think this is one of the best businesses that you can start if you have a house that's really built for it. You know, if you have a lot of land, maybe an extra building on your property or something like that where you can maybe house some of the dogs. But this is a great thing that you can get into because a lot of people don't really like kennels. And I actually know that because we're now looking for someone to take care of our dog over, well, we're going on vacation next week. And it's just, you don't really want to put them in a kennel. You know, I know kennel have gotten better but there's still kind of a stigma around them but I do know some people we took our old dog to they had a home-based business where they had this big backyard they let the dogs run all day and it was something that my dog really enjoyed and they made a whole lot of money from it last time we talked to them they now had an assistant and it is a full-blown business so it's also very high in demand if you are great with animals have a lot of space this, this can be something that can certainly make you a lot of money Number four is a beauty professional. And I realize that this is a pretty general field, but there are specifics that I want to get into. You know, you can become someone like a hair professional or a makeup professional. And of course you can do people's hair and makeup and people pay a lot of money for that. I know back when I was in high school, a lot of people would go to some mom's house that did hair and makeup and then they would pay a little bit of money. They'd get um, everything set up there. You know, they'd all be looking great for prom or anything along those lines. I also know a lot of kids my age. I know a couple girls who are kind of in that beauty influencer world. You know, they've created an Instagram page and a YouTube channel surrounding makeup and different things like that. And you can make a lot of money through that. And I also know someone, we actually had a neighbor who did who was kind of had a little mini barber shop at their house and she would have people come and they would do the hair for them and she made good money doing that. You are going to look at the legality of this. I do think there are some rules and regulations about starting a real company like that that has customers coming in when it's just a normal single family house. So you'll want to look into that, but look in the beauty world. It is a huge industry. Uh, I don't know too much about it. If you didn't know, this isn't a beauty channel. That'd be kind of funny. If just one day I just posted some like makeup tutorial or something, it would just totally throw everyone off. That probably won't happen. I'm, I'm as you can tell, it, this is not a beauty. This is all about money. So yeah, money's beautiful. You could say that. That 
that's a whole different story. But all right, where was I? Yes, so this is a great job that you can get into and you can start it from home. Number five is a photographer. Now, a photographer can make quite a bit of money. Now, I haven't worked with that many photographers. I've done like more professional family photos and different things like that. But the one place that I did see what kind of showed me how much money these people can make is when I got my senior portraits done. So here in the United States, it's pretty common for people to take senior portraits. You know, you get your photos taken your senior year and they're pretty special. You know, we have ours hung up in our house and it's, my my, my whole family did it and it's pretty cool. But you can make good money doing it. I remember when I went and got my senior portraits done, it was done at just some lady's house. You know, she had a bunch of different sets set up that I would stand at. I'd write on, she had a little chalkboard. I'd stand by like an old door and different things like that. And it was really neat. It was really well done. She had a great camera and she kind of set up her house in such a way that could take great photos. We also walked in kind of a little forest she had by her house. So it was pretty cool. It was well done and we pay quite a bit of money and senior portraits do cost a lot but people that want to get professional photos you know maybe it's a wedding photography you know when you want to capture a moment in someone's life people will pay money for someone to capture that moment so that may be something you want to look into if you have an eye for photography Number six is a chef. Now I mean this on much more of a small scale. I don't mean opening a restaurant at your house. I don't even think that's actually legal. I think there's different regulations you'd have to have that you wouldn't pass inspection if it was really in your house. But you can become a chef on a much smaller level. You know, if you are really good at making something, you know, if you make the best chocolate chip cookies that anyone's ever heard of, well, then you can advertise that with your friends. They'll buy it and different things like that. You can also maybe advertise if you there's like, people around you who can't cook for themselves either they're too busy maybe they're sick you know if you have elderly people in your neighborhood or if there's an elderly in the neighborhood by you you can say hey like i prep these meals i can cook them for you you pay me and then i give you all your meals for a week or something like that so if you really enjoy cooking this could be something that could eventually be a business for you you will want to look at what the rules and different things are uh because i know like food and safety may have a little bit of trouble if you're baking all in your house or something so look what the rules are but if you keep it on a smaller scale and you're just making chocolate chip cookies or something like that for the neighborhood, I think that will be okay. But don't quote me on that. You'll probably want to talk to a lawyer if you really want to go down this business avenue. Number seven is a personal trainer. Now, getting healthy is something that people will pay for. You know, people want to be in good shape. People want to be healthy. And you can kind of take advantage of that. And it's a win-win. You know, you make money and you also help someone get healthy, lose weight, whatever their goals are. And the cool thing is you don't really need a gym. You know, if a big gym at least if you have a little gym that you can create maybe in your garage or something like that set up a little gym for people you can set up programs for people uh, you can also set up like eating programs and if you know quite a bit about this this could be really helpful you know I have a lot of friends who know quite a bit about being healthy and it's a wealth of information and you can also help out a lot of different people get them on different programs help them with a few different things that they may be just having trouble with or just in general just go to the gym with people. So this could be something that you may want to look into. Personal training is kind of a big field within itself. If you can't tell, I'm not a personal trainer. I know I'm just so unbelievably buff. I'm, I'm kidding here, but personal little trainer can be something that you may want to look into. Number eight is a massage therapist. So if you didn't know, there are a lot of stressed out people are out there and massages are something that a lot of people take advantage of to ease their stress. I haven't done a massage yet or a formal one. I've been wanting to. Uh, but I haven't done it yet. I know a lot of people have done it and they said that it really helps them, so maybe I will. But that's a little bit on a tangent. If you know how to give a good massage, if you have maybe been trained in it before, there's probably some certifications that you may want to look into getting, but you can make pretty good money becoming a massage therapist. And maybe massage therapist isn't for you, but you want to capitalize on all the stressed people out there. You can look into maybe doing yoga or something along those lines. At my internship, my man manager actually his wife ran kind of a yoga studio so it was kind of cool learning about a little bit about the finances and the business behind that and that is a business that you may want to look into yoga is really on the rise I just started doing it this last quarter at my school and it's something that I felt really helped me get me in a good mental place for kind of the stressful 
few months I was having. So that may be something you want to look into, just kind of capitalize, create a business that can help stressed out people. Maybe it's a massage therapist, maybe it's a yoga instructor or anything like that. Number nine is daycare, and this is a big one. As more and more parents, both parents are now working, they need to find a place for their kid to go. And there's multiple different opportunities, but if you can start a daycare business, you know, if you have a pretty large house or just a building that you can keep everyone safe and keep everyone amused and having fun, then that's great. Also, if you maybe want to create a little bit educational, you know, if you can teach some kids something, teach them some life skills, I'm sure then you can put your kind of self ahead of your competition in that way. So this may be something you want to look at. Of course, you want to be good with kids. You, of course, want to be patient. And this will be a little bit trickier of a business to start. You know you may need a little bit of a team to start, but there are opportunities out there for you. I had a friend in high school. He kind of worked for his family's daycare that they had, and he did enjoy it. You know, it's a very fulfilling job. You get to meet with a lot of high-energy kids, and no two days are the same. So it's certainly an upbeat, kind of crazy uh, job, but it can be very rewarding. The last one, and this one's a little bit more general, but it is so important, and that is an instructor or a tutor. So when I say something like tutor, the first thing you probably think of is an academic tutor, you know, a physics tutor, a chemistry tutor, anything like that, and that's great. You can start a business doing that. My roommate actually runs kind of this little chemistry tutoring business. He is an unbelievable chemist and he knows a lot about chemistry. He's actually going for his PhD in chemistry, so he's a fascinating guy. But you doesn't have to be in the world of academia. It can be, it doesn't have to be. Just think about what you know. Maybe you can be like a coach, like a basketball coach. Maybe you're really good at shooting. Well then you can start a business revolving around helping other people shoot. Maybe you're a really good runner, you can help people run. So maybe you can land in like the physical side or maybe it's something else. Maybe you're really good at chess. You can become a chess coach or something like that. So there's so much opportunity here. Just figure out what you know, what you're good at, what, how can you help other people, what can you coach them with, and just what do you know that other people may want to know. So those are 10 different home-based businesses that you can start that I think are going to be kind of on the up and up and that I think are great to take advantage of. If you have any other ideas, I would love it if you would let me know in the comments below because I know there are not just 10. So if you have any other ideas, let me know below. I'll be looking through there. I'll be talking to you guys. I'm thinking about starting a kind of a new home-based business and I've got a few ideas up there so I'll keep you updated on that. But I want to know what your thoughts are and I'll be going through there. I always enjoy talking to you guys. But that will wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is Calvin Rabb, and I'll see you soon. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. So I'm going to move to the corner of your screen here. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, you are going to see my most recent video. And if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you are going to see a video that YouTube and I each think that you would like. And if you haven't yet, you can hit my face right here and subscribe. As always, my name is Calvin Rabb, and I'll see you soon.